This is Andre coming from the uh, campgrounds uh, across the street from the house. And uh, this is a little place where like you can have groups. I have a little fire over there. People can sit down, speak and stuff like that, music, whatever in the night, you know. You can have a good old time, right? Uh, they have these little deals right here. Maybe you could take a screenshot if you guys like. So here, I'll see if I can get as close as I can. You guys could take screenshots. Hold it still. This is all new to me here too. It's my first time. All right. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna read out a he uh, Hebrews today. I uh, street preach today at the beach with Glenn and uh, did that. Here's some monarchs. We know where they go to, huh? Yeah, this is where they stop. That they go down to the. Um, they uh, they have that monarch statue over there um, at Monterey Pacific Grove, right? And the Silomar, right? Monarchs remind me of mom. She she was she loved butterflies. And every time I see a monarch cruising around, which which isn't too much, uh, reminds me of mom. So that's really cool how some things remind you. You know, sweet things like that. What do we got over here? Ecology. Ecology. Okay, we've got these things. Back out a little bit right there. Yeah, that's some bugs. Ew, right? Some sagebrush. I love the smell of sagebrush. It's so good. Reminds me of up there at Roy Seiko. That smell reminds me of my dad and up at Seiko where us kids used to just jump off the uh, rocks and swim with Mark and Brian and stepbrothers and all. Okay, guys, see? Really cool, huh? A really cool campsite up here. really is. Okay, so let's see here. Looks like I can have 30 minutes it shows. Okay, so I'm going to read out of Hebrews, guys. And um, here, let me see if I can put this on, on this thing right here. And let's see. I guess it's okay like this. It's kind of uneven a little bit. This tripod's going like cuckoo clock on me here. So let's see here. Let me put this under here just really quick. Kind of like trying to get it all level and stuff. But I guess it is what it is, right, guys? It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to read the Hebrews, okay? Right from up there. It's nice and quiet. Hopefully nobody come out of somewhere and destroy this video, right? Okay, Hebrews. Yay, I like Hebrews. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, bless this reading. Uh, that all that hear, I receive it. Through the Holy Spirit, understand it, and uh, make it part of their life. Hallelujah. Another Van Scoot mission, right? Okay. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Pretending that's a lot of people out there. <laughs> Who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, then he hath by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name in they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when, the, when he bringeth in the first begotten unto the world, he saith, And let all the angels of God worship him. And the angels he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son he saith, 
Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A, a scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hath laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doeth a garment. And as a vesture shall, shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. But to which of the, an which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them, who shall be heirs of salvation. Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we, we neglect so great salvation? which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of Holy Ghost, according to his own will. For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak, but one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man, that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man, that thou visited him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownedest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put in, all sub in the subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him, but now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he be the grace of God, should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons unto glory, and make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the, ch of the church will I sing praise unto thee, and again I will put my trust in him, and again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them through fear of death, were all their lifetime subject to bondage, for verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the signs of the people, for in that he himself had suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider apostle, the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, 
and as much as he who hath built it the house hath more honor than the house for every house is builded by some man but he that built it all things is God and Moses verily was faithful in all his house and a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after but Christ as a son over his own house whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end wherefore as the Holy Ghost saith today if ye will hear his voice harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said they do err in their own hearts. They have not known my ways, so I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief departing from the living God but exhort one another daily while this is called today least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin for we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end while it is said today if ye will hear his voice harden not your hearts as in the provocation for some, when they had heard, did provoke. Albeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief unbelief let us therefore fear least a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it for we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spoke a cer in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest seeing therefore it remained that some must enter therein and they whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief again he limited a certain day saying in David today after so a long time as it is said today if ye will hear his voice harden not your hearts for if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Um, I was really pushing myself uh, a couple months ago heavy duty all day every day just jamming just doing being about father's business and and and, and getting up and jamming going home and sleeping getting up and just pushing 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 and the lord says you know you need to rest man you need to rest and next thing you know uh, i was like you know i just can't rest i just i look out the window it's like no i gotta go boom and uh next thing you know um Van just scoots started breaking down and things started happening. And I was like, uh, I fixed it, and got it going, and, and uh, it break again even more, and then it kept on breaking more and more. And it's like, okay, I get it now. So I broke that. Finally, just gave it up. I said, you know, the, the time for rest, uh, 
God, God wants to spend time with us to know. You got to know. He wants you to know um, that uh, his relationship with you is a one-on-one. -on -one. He wants to know you, wants to love you, wants to put everything into it, wants to make you smile, laugh, think about things, how awesome it is, uh, the things he does for you, what he's done for you, uh, what he keeps from you, uh, the things he has for you and plan for your future. Um, he shows you the growth you've uh, gone through, what you've been through, uh, uh, things uh, where um, close calls that you made it through, uh, things you used to do that you don't do, that you got away with, that you should have gotten in trouble with. It, it just, it, it's, it's time well spent uh, with our Father, and uh, uh, He just wants to let you know uh, uh, he's, he's, the, he's the Papa, and uh, uh, you follow Him. You give up things, and uh, which are kind of hard to do, uh, but once you give those things up, he's got something better for you, and um, uh, that's what I did. And um, uh, it's really hard to do, you know, uh, friends or whatever it is. Uh, once you give something up, he's got something even better. And um, you know, my little buddy, uh, uh, you know, Annika. Uh, I really miss her. She's she's uh, uh she's the buddy up the. She just she's like you know she lived up down the street. You know that little buddy you want to go and see. You know and play go out and play with. And um, and she was really really cool. Really really cool. Uh, uh, she was sweet to everybody. You, you buy her something and uh, she would share it. Uh, a really sweet girl, but she uh, she loved she loved Chappy. And uh, she showed me around, just, you know, hey, you know, welcome uh, to San Clemente. Let's go up the street in this place and all this place, these cool places like here. Uh, over here, some really cool cliffs. And, um, and, uh, it, and I was, um, it was keeping me away from getting into the word. And um, uh, the Lord just said, you know, uh, you had fun, you, you, you did what you did. Uh, and, um, uh, you got her out of what she is to do uh, uh, She lost her mom uh, She brought it out. She, she, she took me to places where her and her mom used to go and uh, uh, She changed she lost weight uh, She started uh, she's got sweeter uh, opened up more and uh, it Changed her attire it was changed everything just changed on her and a lot of people are going, wow, this, this wow, you know, she is changing. And, um, and now she, I, I'm pretty sure she, uh, she find, found Mr. Uh, Wright, I guess, so far. Uh, we haven't heard from her, but hopefully uh, uh, she's getting away from all the stuff that she used to do. And, uh, but you do have to, uh, everybody has, has, builds up their own um, testimony, you know. So hopefully she's building a good testimony, and she comes to the Lord. Uh, you, you, you bring the children up. You raise the children up in the Bible, in the Word. And then uh, as they grow up, they'll go back to it. So that's the planting the seed, right? And I'm um, always getting this information, you know, uh, from her mom. It's like it's like uh, the Lord was saying, you're, her mom's saying, you know, uh, Help, help Annika, uh, take, you know, take care of her, help her do things, help be with her, take care of her, because I guess uh, the father was ignoring, and oh, I don't know, but um, it was fun, so I gave I gave all that up, and but the Lord now, he's got me doing what I'm doing here today. I've seen a lot change in my life over the past, uh, since uh, August, last August, and um, I've seen a lot changed. So we, uh, we go into his rest, we still are with our Father, uh, it's, we got to build that one-on-one, -on -one. we just can't say, yeah, I know Jesus, yeah, yeah, I got the faith, yeah, glory, yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, you know, um, you go into his, the rest, go into your hiding place, into your sweet place, get the one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord, and, and things uh, really do happen, you know. I got a smile on my face because... Um, uh, Father's awesome, and He knows each and one of each and every one of our character, and He knows how just to write how to get to it. You know how they find that tickle spot, you know the dad or mom they find that sweet spot, right? That's how He is. 
He knows how to make us smile. He's sweet. Holy Spirit's sweet just as well. Um, so we go into his rest. Okay, so Hebrew 5, I'm going to go to um, 5. Um, I'll just go back up to 2. Five, he, uh, two um, chapter 4, 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, that they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spoke in a certain place of the seventh day on his wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing there it remained that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest, then they would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful. I like this part. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divining asunder of the soul and spirit and to the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto his eyes of him whom we have to do. Seen then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for, for, God, for men and things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin, who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. And by reason thereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins, and no man taketh his honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh when he hath offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared, though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he, came, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him called of God and high priest after order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dole of hearing. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat, for every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them 
that are of full age, even those who by reason of those used have their senses exercised and discern both good and evil. That's growing up in the word, knowing the word, reading the word, and understanding it, uh, just like kindergarten all the way through the college university. Uh, they, that's what they're saying is you're going from milk, you know, just like, like a, uh, animals, you know, they drink the milk. And they go to the meats, you know. Same thing, same thing. The Lord is awesome how He explains things. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing how He explains things. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on hands and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this will we do, if God permit. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, and have tasted in the heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. This is when you go into believing, and you give your life to the Lord, uh, you're born again, okay? That's, this is what happened. Those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open, open shame. Was what, was what he's saying is... Um, if they should fall away to renew them again, which means uh, go out to sin, you know, oh, uh, I'm, uh, oh, I did that well. I guess I'm going to uh, try it all over again because I sinned. And now um, I, I want to ask for repentance. And, and uh, you know, because Jesus died on the cross. So, um, you know, uh, we can, our sins are paid for today, yesterday, and forever. And, and, and um, uh, even though he did that, I could still go and sin and, do all this stuff and get away because he still died on there and but no we don't you don't do that that's a that's a total no-no that's a no-no so that's what this is saying those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers partakers of the holy ghost even if you weren't saved and have tasted the good word of god and the powers of the world to come if they shall fall away to renew them again unto the repentance. See, repenting. Oh, I'm sorry. Girl. I won't do it anymore. Seeing they crucify to themselves. See, they just cruci They think that they crucified God after he did. It's, 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 it's total sin, man. Seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. That's sad. That is so sad. It's just sad. It's evil. For the earth we drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it, and bringeth forth herbs meat for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Either you grow in Christ or you don't. Either you do or you don't. But, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, and things that accompany salvation, Though we thus speak, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed of, of love of toward his name, ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Saints are Christians. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to full to full to the full assurance of of hope unto the end we endure to the end that we be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise we run a race uh, uh, through fear and trembling on a daily uh, patience is, is, the, is the key you just got to be patient and uh, obedient in the walk we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope and to the end, that ye be not slothful but followers in 
through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God hath had made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men verily swear, we've got overcast, for, mer for but Lord's bringing the, the light for us. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them to an end of all strife, wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immut immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil, whether the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus, made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. I'll do chapter, um, I'll do chapter 7. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation, king of righteousness, now my shoes untied, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither been beginning of days nor end of life but made like unto the son of god abideth a priest continually now consider how great this man was and to whom even the patriarch abraham gave the tenth of the spoils and verily they that are of the sons of levi who receive the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law that is, of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham and blessed him that had the promises. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. And here men that die receive tithes, but there he received them, of whom it is witness that he liveth. And as I may say so, Levi also, who receiveth tithes, paid tithes in Abraham. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. If therefore perfection were by Levi Levitical priesthood, for, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron. Melchizedek's the highest priest. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe, of which no man give attendance to the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident for that after similitude of Melchizedek, there arises another priest. Man, I'm getting uh, some really cool stuff from the Holy Spirit saying like, man, there's some uh, angels and people watching me here. You, you, know, you never know. <laughs> Praise the Lord, man. <laughs> right? Praise the Lord. Woo! Love it. Who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. For he testifieth, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. For there is verily a disannulling of the commandment going before for the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, by the which he, we draw nigh unto God. 
inasmuch as not without an oath he was made priest. For those priests were made without an oath, but this with an oath by him that said unto him, The Lord swear and will not repent, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. And they truly were many priests, because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. But this man, because he continueth forever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that came unto God by him, seeing he never liveth to make, seeing he ever lived to make him intercession for them. Overran my words there. For such an high priest became us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens, who needeth not daily as his high priest to offer up sacrifices, first for his own sins, uh, and then for the people's. For this he did once, when he offered up himself, for the law maketh men high priests, which have infirmity, but the word of the oath which was since the law maketh the Son, who is who is consecrated forevermore. I'm gonna cut it right there. Man, I'm tired. I've been standing all day. My hip uh, it kind of like clicks, locks up, and it pinches, and it doesn't feel good. <laughs> and uh and uh, uh, that's when I know I just I, I push too much. I, I push myself too much. But I wanted to come out here. I wanted to get a reading. And um, uh, we ended up we ended up uh, street preaching out here today. It's online. I'm going to put it online it's with Glenn. And um, uh, I did a little reading out of uh, Jude, I believe. It was out of Jude. And a lot of negative people out there today. It's just so unbelievable. Glenn finally said, yeah, man, it's a lot of negative people. Like, see, he told you that, you know, you could pray for all these people because, you know, they're, they're just living their life. They just think everything's all, yee -hee -hee -haw. you know, it's all once, once saved, always saved. Uh, YOLO, you only live once. Uh, I don't know who Jesus is. I'm an I'm a atheist. I'm a Buddha. I'm all this. I'm all that. People don't even know who they are, but the wide, the road to destruction is ultra, ultra wide. And uh, finally, he got to see really what it was really like. So in Jesus' name, guys, I love you. I thank you for watching my videos. Uh, all my readings is what it is. It's just reading out to the Lord out loud. And uh, I've, seen, I've seen my growth over time, and it's astounding that I, I really...